So now that we've gone from lockdown to a stay-at-home order, first thing we went and did, went and bought a 28-pound pork shoulder. And we're going to try and turn this thing into two projects in one. One is a buckboard bacon. So not Canadian bacon, not back bacon, not belly bacon, not, just go with it here. So, that's what we got to work with. And what we're gonna try and do is take a slice off of here, keeping it about three inches, and then the rest of it, we're just gonna smoke as a pork shoulder. So the first thing you need is a sharp knife. So now that our knife is sharp, what we want to do is start to cut the skin off. Right. All right, we'll try this a different way in a minute because this ain't going to go good. I can just tell. this thing down and took the skin off of it and that's going to get turned into a pork rinds after you dry it out and you can use that for all sorts of neat things and this is the piece we're going to use for the next part of the project So here's what we're left with. This we're going to dry up and turn into pork rinds. Yummy. This is what you got left, oh geez, for a roast. And this is what we're going to turn into the buckboard bacon. done here is first of all made a big mess. A little bit of curing salt on the bacon and the roast. We're just going to smoke that up until it's cooked. But if you wanted to put something like maple smoked bacon, 
fill that sucker up. That one's gonna hurt, <laughs> but it's kind of a neat little tool. Anyway, we're gonna let this thing sit outside in the cool for a little while, a couple days maybe, and we'll see you when it's time to go back to the smoker. shoulder and I am slicing the fat that's on the underside for pork rinds so you for pork rinds you only want the skin you want to get as much fat of the, off of it as possible use whatever sharp knife you've got I like to use um, one of Paul's uh, fishing knives use whatever sharp skin that had all the fat taken off into smaller chunks and I also salted it and then I put it in my air fryer you could also do your oven too works just the same so this has been in for about 45 minutes probably gonna go a little longer it's not quite what I'm after but it's on its way So I'm happy with this batch of pork rinds. You take a look. Pretty happy with how they're turning out. And I got a few more in the air fryer. So here's our pork shoulder. Karen's done the pork rinds yesterday. Our bacon's been sitting for two days. And the rest of the roast has been dry basting for two days. And the reason it looks so ugly is because that's where the other end of the bone is. So we're taking these out to the smoker. Let's go. So, as we head out to the smoker, we realize we don't have any wood pellets for the wood smoker. So we head into town to buy a bag of wood pellets. So as probably most of you know, we're under, what do they call it, not lockdown, but not stay at home, but Basically, you're going to get shot if you go out mode. Uh, so anyways, I go into town anyways because, well, I'm an idiot. And end up at the hardware store. Get to the hardware store. And I go through the indoor like I normally go through the indoor when I go to the hardware store. Only to find out that the second indoor, so they kind of got like an outdoor indoor and then an indoor indoor. Well, you can't get through the indoor indoor because it's blocked off. So anyways, I had to move over. I had to trip over a bunch of Christmas trees that they were trying to sell off to get to the outdoor so that I could get into the store. Well, I walked into the store and then all of a sudden, I just about felt like I was going to get shot because I was told I wasn't allowed to be in the store. You got to go back outside and wait. So you got to go out the outdoor to get out. That's when you get to read the sign that says you can't come in. So the can't come in sign is on the outdoor. So anyway, what you got to do is tell them what you want and they'll go get it for you. And they'll bring it out through the outdoor. So 
that's all good. I'm standing out there waiting. Well, there was a guy ahead of me. He was looking for some plumbing parts. All he wanted to do was hook up his toilet. <clears throat> Needed one of them little braided hoses with the right fittings on the right end. But try out telling somebody that, you know, I need one bigger than this and smaller than that and one that fits over here but not that one. So we waited and waited. Then it was all done. He finally got out of here. My turn. Can I please just get a bag of wood pellets? So they go back in. You want a big bag or a little bag? I'm like, I'll take the big bag. Then they come back out. What flavor do you want? I'm like, whatever one's closest, I don't care. All right. Wait, 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 wait. They come back out and say, we got this one, that one, this one, this one, this one, oak, mesquite, apple, or butcher's blend. I'm like, ugh, guys, just, <clears throat> I'll take that one. Okay, fine, mesquite. All we're doing is cooking bacon, I don't care. They go back in, they bring it back out. Now you can't pay for it. Dope. So that little escapade about the indoor and the outdoor and the don't come in sign being on the outdoor we talked about through how I got through the indoor and I said I just pulled it open and walked through to which point she said no that should be locked I'm like well it isn't she's like oops No. Hey, Nibbit, it don't fit. Bacon's done. We're going to cut her open and see what she looks like. So here's our hunk of bacon. It's come off the smoker, had a chance to sit down, dry out a little bit. We cut it in half so that it'll fit in the meat slicer. And that's what she gets. So what we've done is we've cut the bacon into manageable chunks so that it'll fit through the slicer. Watch your fingers. Next step up, bacon and eggs. So now that Paul has parted up the roast and I've got bones. I made a stock in my Instant Pot and so I'm all set up to go and make some soup. There's absolutely no waste from this project. So after the buckboard bacon, the pork rinds, the lard to make a birdseed buck, what you got is your leftovers. 